Yo, he tried to break tradition. We've got a guest behind the camera. You can't see her. She's actually the boss of everything. We're we actually do. in my wife's office. If if it wasn't <laughs> for her, we would be have no roof over our head. Nah, we would have shut down after a month. She I wouldn't have us. I wouldn't have this if it wasn't for her. I, nobody can see that. Oh, my you bad. Go up a little I wouldn't bit. have that. Look at I you. might explode. I'm getting a little bit there's, healthier. No, there's, going Gatorade. He put he put spark in there. I saw him. I don't mess with that spark stuff. <sighs> All right. So, oh, I don't even have my spread. This is what we're going to do. First off, every man in America is going to have about two hours tonight where his girl's getting ready to go out, so you have no excuse not to watch this. I know two we're hours? Doing... Come on, dog. You've got least. a wife. You know that's at least three and a half. <laughs> that's three. All right, so you got no excuse whatsoever not to watch this preview. I know we're doing it a day before. Get over it. Suck it up. Park yourself. Get knowledgeable, and if you're within a five hours drive and you're not in Chattanooga this weekend, you hate wrestling. Simple and plain. Pretty true. You hate wrestling. First off, and he came in and he had this little grin on his face the other day. And I'm looking at him because I'm about to kill the heater guy because our gas went out. Heater guy shows up, don't know what's going on. It's a mess. Our kids are freezing. They need to train in a good environment. I've come to the conclusion small businesses don't like to make money. No. No. So anyways, after poor customer service and me trying to kill this poor guy, it wasn't his fault, Lee shows up with a smile on his face. So immediately I say, Lee, what troubles you, sir? And he was like, I'm not troubled. I'm not just, troubled. I'm, I'm the happy one <laughs> and most of the time. He goes to explain to me that he realized how tough the scuffle is. Oh, so good. And I could just see the warmth bubbling inside of him with wrestling excitement. And then I got excited. It's and like, then I didn't want to kill the heater guy anymore. It's like an infant baby NCAAs. That's no <sighs> joke. Team race, we've got the top three guys. Penn State, Minnesota. I said guys, it's really teams. I'm pretty sure Oklahoma I told her State. to put that, on, put that on silent. That's the business phone. We want that. <laughs> we don't, no, tell them we're busy. We're not that busy. <laughs> we don't want your money. We're shooting a preview. See, small businesses don't want to make money. <laughs> Unplug that phone. <laughs> Dude, I'm just going to say the internet in here is so slow. Dude, I'm screaming over here. I'm trying, I'm screaming to, bring, I'm trying to bring up my spreadsheet. Dude, I'm, I'm firing ice right now. This okay, is so, so good. Well, you know this is going to take seven hours. we got right. to get started. All right. Nashawn Garrett, Megalutis, Martinez, Keener, Terraro, Zanetti, Crazer, Silver, Hall, Kilmora, Robinson, Petrov, Franco, Dixon, Roberts. Told Roberts, you. you are not in the tournament. You need to be a sell down. No, I, I highlighted them, didn't I? Oh, I didn't do a very good job. <laughs> yeah. You missed the first three, but that's cool. My bad. We're we're a little Excel challenged. We haven't quite got back in the swing of things yet. Bam. So I'm already done. See, look at me. We've seen Megalutis. We've seen Garnett. We've seen them win good uh, already this season with some big wins. Uh, so our Garnett's already got a win over Megalutis. It's not Garnett. I mean, I'm sorry, Garrett. I'm still on my I'm still on my Gerard Garnett train from last night. Look good. Look great, man. I wait. Look Midland great. Finals. That's Look cool. great. Fun stuff. I want to talk about the Midland Finals. We can't. The this whole preview. Scuffle, this is scuffle preview. Sorry. So I'm going to talk about Nation <laughs> Garrett a little bit. To me, <sighs> Sorry, to me, he's Nation. one of the most complete wrestlers there is um, in NCAA's. He's good in all positions, man. That Joker's a hammer on top. And I tell you what, I notice about him a lot. He scores back points off his mat returns a lot. He's really good at mat return, catch the wrist, and then tilting cats up. Um, I think he's just making jumps. He's going to be end up being one of the better guys um, Cornell's had in, in a long time, I think. Uh, he's starting to be one of my favorite 125-pounders out there. Um, I think if anybody – I don't want to say bracket buster because Martinez is your three seed, but I think if anybody – has got upset potential here. Who's already beat some pretty solid guys this season? It's Martinez. I'm gonna talk um, about your my Air Force guy. A little bit. All right, your Air Force guys already beat Silvers, Peters. Peters is on a great season right now, especially for as young as he is. Um, and he's hey, say that. What? Toreo? Is it Toreo? I want to say Toretto. No, it's not Toretto. I know. He's but Fast and the Furious. Toretto's that'd just be an awesome name. If I was that close to being named Toretto, I'd just change my name to Toretto. I'm going Toreo. We'll phonics it up. That's what we do. Toreo. I tell you what, man, not to jump Keener. We'll come back to him in a second. Toreo, technically, he's one of the I, I tell you, he's got some different stuff he does. Um, and not to give a big scout report on him, man. Uh, Scouting. He don't care. 
He's got the Gorgiev shuck down. He's so good at it, man. He's got the leg kick. He's catching a lot of people with it. And he's action-packed. He's fun to watch. Um, if you're tuning in on Flow Wrestling, which, by the way, it is work to me. Even if, if that's all Flo did on Flow Pro was do the scuffle, I would pay it. I'd pay the full year membership every time just to be able to watch Don't that. Be Come on, you get to watch every match if you want to. But 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 we're gonna be in the flesh. You y'all. We're gonna be sure. front front row. If you re VIP. I'm gonna try and commentate some matches. Maybe they'll let me down there and do it. I love doing that. You're just that gonna be like, oh, so oh, 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 here they come. They're wrestling. Oh my god. I love commentating the matches, man. It's a good time. Um, I want to go back up to Mega Ludus, man. Um, All right. I don't want to skip over him. Man, he's just a fun guy to watch. I've talked about it before. I think he's got the biggest gas tank in NCAA wrestling. He can go harder than anybody. He's finding, he struggled finding angles on his shots before, but he's looking a lot better at it. Um, and just something about big matches. That dude looks forward to it. You can tell he gets excited. He loves being in those big moments. And it doesn't matter who he's wrestling, whether it's like a bottom of the tier guy he knows he's going to freight train or the best guy in the world. He sets his pace. He wrestles his the style. Same product. And good call there. And he's good on bottom, man. I'm, that's one of the things I've got. I got like a list of stuff I'm looking for as a fan and as a coach at Scuffle. And, and Mega Ludus on bottom is one, one of the top ones. I'm really looking at the details of how he gets away so well. Um, I know part of it's his flexibility. He's got crazy weird flexibility. But um, I'm really, really looking at some technique and how he's getting away from people so easily because uh, you can't have too much bottom technique in my opinion. Agreed. Agreed. I'm going to go ahead and throw out Bracket Buster. Jerome Robinson, fairly low seed. I think he got sixth, seventh here last year. So he's been there, done that. I think some of these teams that are rolling in for the first time this year to the scuffle know it's tough, but don't realize how dead gum deep these some of these weights are. Look for Jerome Robinson to finish pretty high here, I think. Even though this is kind of a minefield of a weight class, I think from uh, maybe five, six down, I think it's a dogfight. Um... My bracket buster, been watching this dude wrestle since he was a little tyke. They used to come up to App State. Tyke. Little tyke. They used to call him a tyke. Uh, That's great. Uh, he's the fastest man on the planet, Earl Hall. He is the bracket buster. He's seated what? What's he seated over here? Really low. Ninth. Way too low for him. He's ninth. Seated ninth. Well, he, he's dropped a Martinez. No, him beat, and Eaters. Him, he, no, beat, he beat Martinez. Beat Martinez. He's Martinez. dropped a Peters. Crazy match with Peters. We talked about it. A while back, if you hadn't seen the Peters Hall Peters match, he's on the rope, man. He's that. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's that good. He's exciting. He can wrestle technical. He can wrestle outside the tie, inside the tie, and you never know what he's gonna do. Fast that Joker alive. is dangerous, man, and he's a hammer on top. I was rewatching. Um, I'm some telling you, Earl Hall is gonna be an NCAA champ before he graduates. He's got great coaching at Iowa State. He's got all the tools, and he is a competitor. He's been successful at all levels. Earl Hall is my bracket buster here. I got him placing third. All right. That's not bad. That's not a bad call, man. I was going back and watching some Earl Hall last week and I when we when we were we were going to do the Vegas preview and I found what was it uh the Disney thing that we went to where South Dade wrestled oh, yeah. uh, Brandon. Yeah. And it was me and you calling the match. It was like three years ago. I could I forgot about that weekend that a, completely. That was a pretty cool event. I yeah, it was. Going down there. Mike Palazzo um, actually did a great job down there at Wild World of Disney. I wish that could have kept going because they had college and high school. Wow. Got to wrestle outside. Our little dudes got to wrestle outside. They thought it was awesome, man. It was yeah. great. Um, I mean, you got some guys in here that can Cra have... Crazer's yeah. fun to watch, man. Zanetta, we haven't even talked about Zanetta. I mean, he's... he, Dude, Zanetta's good. Zanetta's good, and Pitt is putting out some unbelievably solid guys. They're not going to have a Penn State-type lineup full of superstars every year, but they're going to have those so kids... They're, they're starting to get great recruits. Man. They've got one of the best recruiting areas to get out of from, just right around them to, there is. Man. They're starting to build an unbelievable foundation... We just got the look of death. <laughs> They're starting to build an unbelievable foundation, and those, that cream's rising to the top. Those kids are good, man. Guy I haven't seen that's got some good results. I'm going to check out Paul Petroff, Bucknell guy. Um, you're starting to see Bucknell always has a few studs in there, but you're starting to see him put together a, a better squad. Unbelievable academic school. Um, those guys are out there hustling, man. I talked to him. 
Oh, I can't remember where it was. Oh, it was Super 32. Super 32. Yeah, I talked to their coaches for a little bit. They, Garnett's really, out there doing great doing things, a, too. Shout out to Bricker job. Dixon, man. I miss getting to go to uh, Toshiba Classic. That was a fun tournament. Now it's called the Stampede. Whatever. I was there when it was Toshiba Classic. Watched Alan Waters, TJ Mitchell wrestling the finals. That was like 18 years ago. It was a long time ago. I, I did it live, though. Moving on, 133. Uh, hear your seeds. You got Morrison, Mango, Thorn. Roth, Sheldon Mack, Nick Soto, Jimmy Goulibon, Mackenzie McGuire or Mac McGuire. Um, I'm not sure what he goes by, so I apologize if you're Mac and I just threw out your whole. No, like dude. when your mom got mad at you and you're like, Mackenzie McGuire, <laughs> pick up your room. Mackenzie Lewis McGuire. What's his middle name? I have no idea. Just guess. What do you think is middle name? Nathaniel. Mackenzie Nathaniel? That just doesn't flow. Mackenzie Nathaniel McGuire? Are you kidding me? That flows off the tongue like honey, son. <laughs> Colton Rash. Jamel Hudson. Oh, What's his middle name? Somebody. <laughs> Jamel Hudson, New York boy, wrestling in Strong Island now at Hofstra. Joe Martinez, Jordan Conaway, and then I'm throwing Mark Gray in there at the end because um, he should be seated, but he's a freshman, so it's hard for oh, freshmen yeah. to get seated in these yeah. things in college. Um, wrestling great this year. I'm going to talk about John Morrison. He's your third-ranked guy. That dude's just <sighs> solid. He, he doesn't really blow people out of the water, man, but he's got a great double leg, great motion, and he seems to always be able to find that takedown when he needs it. He won the scuffle Team last OJ. year. Yeah, he won. I, may, I think it's Team John Smith. That says Team OJ. That's his Twitter. Oh, never mind. I thought you were talking, I got it backwards. I thought you were talking about J-O. No, Team I little, J-O. I got a little dyslexic there. My apologies. What um, do you call that when you in, interpret verbal stuff backwards? Spoke lexic? Struggle. <laughs> it's just a Drunk. Struggle. Yeah. <laughs> when you when on crack. Sure. That's funny. Sorry, you had energy and I, I stifled it. Uh, he's solid on the mat. He, he's got really good mat returns and he's, <laughs> he's really good, really good uh, bottom wrestler. Or, yeah, no, it was Morrison that I was watching. <laughs> I killed you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it completely you. broke me. Now I'm trying not to process stuff backwards. <laughs> Move on to Mango. <laughs> Mango, I'll talk about him a little bit. He's known for his big explosive throws. Don't get it twisted and tangled, though. This guy has pretty good leg attacks. He's got great leg attacks. Has solid finishes. He's shown a little bit of vulnerability he, he with throws, his defense. He throws off his leg attacks. Yeah. Um, shown a, yeah, Colton McChrystal knows that firsthand. Um, but uh, he's shown a little bit of vulnerability in defense. Uh, wrestling Soto. Soto took him to the woodshed. Soto, to me, is probably Shows a little bit of gas tank issues. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Soto but if I had all could those be muscles. A... <laughs> yeah, it just uses up. He might have the biggest gas tank ever, but he's just like driving a F seventeen fifty. Seventeen, and it gets like a quarter of a mile to the gallon. Just whoa, we're done. <laughs> um. But like I said, man, Mango's a high seed for a reason. Um, it's good to see Stanford coming out here to this thing. Uh, I think Soto could be a little bit higher, and we'll talk about him in a little bit. Um, you got you got Thorn Roth and Mack in between. He's got some bad, um, bad, bad losses. He does have some bad losses, but look pretty doggone good out at uh, Reno Tournament of Champions. So, hometown boy, I'm looking to see do some good things. And I completely got off the Mango slide. But uh, like I said, man... Mango, a lot of people like to watch him because they're waiting for that big throw. But to me, he's he's technical, pretty technical all positions. I like watching him as a whole. He's two-time so, All-American. Yeah. He's got to be pretty stinking good. Above average. Moving down, David Thorne. He's your 10th-ranked wrestler from Minnesota. Minnesota has got a squad this year. Um, probably deep. Yeah. Outside of Penn State, when they get the Altons back, they've got the deepest lineup to me without, without a whole lot of holes. And uh, I love the pace they wrestle. Minnesota might be my favorite team. I don't know. Penn State really gets after it, too. But, they, man, they're fun to watch. They're physical. They're hand fight. Score leg points. attack. It's, it's fun to watch, points. man. And Thorne, uh, you guys, he's, he's Thornish now. The to, least to violent of the Thorn family, would you yeah. say? But that's like talking about the least <laughs> dangerous. That's like, oh, I didn't want to say that. I was like going to say that's like the most mildest Manson family, but that's a terrible <laughs> reference. I basically just called the Thorn family a bunch of murderer cult people. I'm sorry, Thorn family. I can't. You guys are murderer cult people. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Roth, Central Michigan. Oh! Uh, 
He's lost to kind of guys that are a little bit above him. He's got a loss to Mango Beckman and a really close match, two to three against Morrison. Um, he's got a whole lot of skills. Just kind of one of those guys that floats under the radar. He's not like uh, Joe Roth. He's one of those big studs, but man, he is. He's he's ranked this high for a reason. He's got a big Monster win over Bruno. Monster motor, dude. Yeah. I love a super physical hand fight type guy. Not gonna give you an inch to breathe. I've been I've been a big fan of this guy watching him since. Michigan State Open a long time ago when he was red shirt man. And little kids out there, youth wrestlers watching this, what do you notice that we talk about all these guys that are seated at the top of these brackets and winning NCAA titles? What do they like to do? Wrestle hard. Wrestle hard and score points. That needs to be the focus. Don't focus on winning matches. Focus on scoring points, and then the wins will take care of itself. Score Sounds points. like a little thing. Excerpt. Coach Roper, super tips. Ding. Now, back to the preview. We Sheldon get, Mack, Pitt, got wins <laughs> over Conway. Uh, Got to got some ugly losses. He's, he's lost to Julius Beckman, Alexander. Those are ugly um, losses. Those guys are studs. Close. I, I didn't, what did I say? You said ugly losses. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. I meant to say close losses because it's 3-5, 2-3, 3-4. to, five, two to, three, three to four. My bad. Sheldon Mack, um, and I got, I, I guess I watched him, what, Minotti? Who did I watch him wrestle at? Uh, that would be a big weight jump. No, God dog it. Um, similar name. Oh, I can't remember it. It was at the Clarion Open, I think, or Keystone Classic. One of those. Um, so I, I, I haven't gotten to watch Sheldon Mack wrestle a ton this year. Um, solid win over Conaway, 5-2. to two. Conaway's no slouch. He filled in for uh, Penn State and uh, got some solid wins last year. So uh, I'm thinking Soto's going to be in the finals. Uh, our, our spreadsheet's all messed up. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 seed. I don't know. We'll see. I think Soto's going to be in the finals. That's got him going through. Can Soto Thorne be in the finals, or am I one in no. five seed meeting in the finals again? He's got to yeah. go through. Yeah, he's going. Our he's spreadsheet's going, all screwed up. He's going three and six seed in the finals. That's pretty hard to do. I, I want to see Thorne and Soto How in the finals. How's our spreadsheet up, messed up? It's because it, because the top is one. You know what I'm saying? So we have to subtract. Just scroll one. over to the right a little bit, it, and, and I, you see that number I, one, two, hard. three, My, four, five. Because six, there's seven. a rank, there's the rank column, and then I just see numbers and I get confused. Um, it's not very hard. Just do that. <laughs> oh yeah, we got it on the other end too. It's no. like a bookend. My bad. Um, I'll let you talk about Gulabot. Is he really on a five match losing streak? No way. Yeah. Um, five match losing streak. Conaway, no, nah, Conaway was earlier. Beckman, Harlow, DeJulius, Ramos. Um, I tell you, man, I'm a big Goulabon fan. If you watch the Iowa Penn State uh, preview, I've enjoyed watching that guy wrestle in high school. But to me, you, this is this is my observation. All the other Penn State guys improve. Goulabon just seems to be on a plateau to me. Um, it doesn't seem like he's making adjustments in matches. He goes out there and he wrestles the same style, kind of the same things, and kind of makes the same mistakes that he did in the match before. And that's kind of rare for a Penn State guy. I think that's what they're best at. They're best at improving every single match, um, making adjustments with the people they wrestle. And I just, as I'm, from watching him, I just I don't see Goulabon making those adjustments as well. Uh, Mackenzie McGuire got to got to peek at him a little bit this season. I haven't he's, seen him he, wrestle yet. Have I'll tell you this, his defense is solid, but he also can scramble pretty well. One thing I did notice about him, he scrambles to a stalemate a lot more than he scrambles to win a, ta win a takedown. Um, had some pretty good matches at Eastern Michigan Open. I think I actually posted one on my Facebook wall. That was a pretty exciting match. i got to get um, back to doing that. I've been doing he's a, a PA poor, kid. been doing a poor job of doing that. For, so guys that used to watch matches on Blasting. Facebook, I'm going to... Roper165 on Twitter. I'm going to start doing better. Just blast him all day long. Um... But I'll tell you, man, Mackenzie McGuire is one of those kids that can give a lot of these guys that are primarily big-time neutral wrestlers um, a little bit of trouble, frustrate them, and then squeak out matches. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see Mackenzie McGuire be top six here. Really wouldn't. Really wouldn't. Kent State does an unbelievable job with their guys. They got, they're got they bringing a solid squad here to this tournament. So looking at his matches, he scores a lot of points. He gives up a lot of points, too. But he scores a lot of points. So that means either he's really good on his feet or really good on top. One of the two. So I'm going to try and check him out for a few matches and see, guy to watch. see what he's scoring with. Um, he he dropped a hammer on Rask or Rasky. Rasky. I don't, I don't know. Rache. Just give him a French. You like doing that. <laughs> I that's love your, French. That's one of your dude. French you it up. Little, 
French thing. Who's on the it. French midshipman? And then we called him by the wrong name the whole season. Oh, I'll think of it in a minute. Des Lauriers. Yeah. <laughs> and it um, was Delaurier or so. Oh, it was Delaurier. So talking about Rask, he's a Navy guy. He, uh, he's got a good win over Latito. Latito had a pretty good uh, Midlands uh, these past two days. Uh, so he's really making a name for himself. I talked about him um, in the Midlands preview a little bit. Hadn't checked him out before that. Um, but he's got some... Some pretty I over Festiejo. I thought Festiejo was a different pre, weight. Pretty no, you're thinking about um, Scott Festiejo. Uh, Makate. Um, oh, maybe. He's got some bad losses oh, though. He got pinned by Shop. Uh, McGuire beat him up pretty bad. Uh, Mango beat him up pretty good. Uh, well, it wasn't pretty. It was like two to eight or something like that. Six or five or six points. Um, but I hadn't seen him a whole lot, so I can't really tell you what he likes to do. Uh, Jamel Hudson, though, seen that guy wrestle since high school. He's got a lot of skills. Um, he's got to tighten up his bottom a little bit. He really struggles on those guys uh, that are good on top. Uh, Brewer, uh, Gray, those guys that can turn a whole bunch. Man, he struggled against those guys this year. Gave up a ton of points to him. Gray is a like, gigantic 33. I think Gray points. scored like 76 points on him in that match. He really rolled him up pretty Gray's good. bigger than me at 33. Well, that's not real hard, dude. You're a shell of a man right now. Um, so I could see him doing a little bit better. It's just like you said, he figures out the bottom stuff. Is that a shell? Is that a shell? Is that a shell? Are these shells? Are these shells? Yes. yes. All right. Little babies. Little baby <laughs> I'm shells. wearing I'm wearing a small shirt. I'm withering away. So I could see him doing a little bit better in his seat here. Um, I don't see him beating Gulabon. Maybe not McGuire, but um, yeah, I could see him being a little bit above that. Um, so I, I think he could wrestle above his seat a little bit. All right, so now, to me, this top three right here at 41, are you done at 33? No. Mark not, Gray is going to uh, All right, talk about Mark Gray. bust that bracket wide open, dude. He's got tech fall on Hudson. Like I said, he beat Bruno. He beat Rasky. Um, got beat up by Cologne pretty bad. Russell Brewer tough. Russell Richards tough, but that was earlier in the year. He seems to really be on the upswing now. Um, definitely going to wrestle above his seat because I think he's going to place and he's not seated. Right. Um, he I, wrestled here last year. I'll tell you what, seed four through 12 does not want Mark Gray first round. No. Four no. through 12 does not want to see him first round. And I could even see him giving Thorne a tough match and maybe even Mango a tough match with his style. Him and Morrison are going to be close just the way Morrison wrestles. But like I said, I think Morrison's a little too savvy right now being a senior to beat him. But Mark Gray, he's a 14th ranked guy. I mean, he's he's stud, man. He's going to do well. And then you never know what Jordan Conaway is going to do. He could win this weight. And I'm like, yep, yeah, that's Jordan Conaway. That's a, what he does. Yeah, he, dude, he he placed here last year, he I'm pretty sure. Just, he had an unbelievable tournament last year. He's just a gamer, here. man. Yeah. That guy wins matches. Wins. Ever since, who did he beat? Evan Silver and... Uh, um, Dapper Dan. Ever since then, that Joker just finds a way, man. Everybody counts him out. Everybody. Well, he's had he's had some upsets. He had some oh. upsets last year. Yeah, dude. He's, some solid guys. He's good, man. Some solid guys. Um, one forty one. Dardanes, Rutherford, Henderson, Nevinger. To me, that's a clump of goodness right dude, there. You got to go down two more, brother. I can't. King Shigam, Makate. I butchered that. You got to do his first name too. Um, Undra Bayar. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Um, Makate, Haran, Faith, Kalika, Bright, Hayes, Spizak, who I think is way low, um, and I'll tell you why. Ward, Tyler Small, who's a freaking hammer, um, and then Cobb, your pen wrestler. I, I don't know. I see that top four not being head and shoulders, but maybe a, 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 a step and a half above. Um, I think those four are going to play out it's in the. Was a, he was an all American dude. I get it. Okay. You you got to throw him in there too. I, I, I don't have off. to. Yeah, I mean, it's, you a, it's America. To. You can do what you want. It's America. That ain't smart. Okay, I'll say top five just so Roper don't cry about it and get I'm, tears all over his. I'm saying top six. I'm throwing Makati in there too, man. All right. I mean, eh. He's got some decent wins this year, but he—that Joker he, is wrestling so tough. This he year. is, he is, but when he's faced, uh, which what I would consider top tier competition, which is probably the top four or five in this bracket, he's lost. So Carter's the only one that's gotten into him though, and Carter's got a let tore his leg in half. So yeah, well, that was the Spizak match, I think, because Spizak had him on the ropes, and I think he had like a torn hamstring or something like that. It was pretty bad. Um, 
But Rutherford, we know what we're getting with Rutherford. Unbelievable single legs, great pace, hammer on top. Uh, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if he won this whole dadgum kitten caboodle. I'm picking um, him to win it. Dardanes is that always been there, always been doing it. Hadn't seen crazy jumps up and downs. Yeah, he's kicked some losses here and there. He's got a win over Colica this year. Top five uh, hand fighter in CAA. Um, just, just, uh, he talked about watching Penn State over Minnesota. Minnesota, I don't want to say uniform, because there's guys on their team that no, have different things all. about them. Um, uh, but one thing you're going to get from Minnesota is an unbelievable hard pace and scoring a lot of points and not letting you breathe. Um, and that, that's one thing I love about watching Minnesota wrestling. I think the contrast, in, or not the contrast in styles, but the pace between Rutherford and Dardanes and the finals match, if they both get there, will exhaust any fan. Yeah, I don't know if you can get Rutherford tired, though. That's the great thing about it. It's going to be an exciting match. And I know I'm going to get blasted for saying this, but this is the best comparison I can make so people get it like that. How dare you? Dardanes is your prototypical Iowa-style wrestler. When people think of Iowa-style, whether it's the right, I think most people think Iowa-style, and that's the wrong it's like the wrong mental picture. It's like morphed into something that it's really not. Um, but when people think Iowa style wrestling, that's the way the Dardanes brothers wrestle. Hey, high pace. But I know there's physical a, hand fighting. I know there's points. a lot. I know there's a lot of Minnesota Iowa hate out there. So I know uh, the Minnesota guys are like, ah, just, I can't do you that. You just poking. But you just poking that. It's bird. The best way I can do it. Evan Henderson. The next two guys don't pick bottom on them. Yeah, Just don't dude. do it. And Evan Henderson's evolved on top. He was at Cradle Ride. Kind Pretty of, sure he's still. Did, that no, guy. no, 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 no. But he's gotten, <laughs> but he's he's gotten better on top. His leg rides a, a, a ton better, I think, since he's got in college. Um, he's he's dropped a vase, which was a one three. It was a close one, but it, but uh, it was early in the no, season. No, it might not have been. It might have been right at the lately. It might have been pretty similar. He won. Uh, he won the last tournament he was in. What was that? Was that? It wasn't Reno. Reno. Were they Reno? Mm -hmm. Were they out of Reno? All right. He had to um, wrestle. He wrestled his teammate Joey Ward in the finals. Oh yeah, because that was the uncomfortable <laughs> interview we won't talk about. Uh, Makate Haran. He beat Haran up. By, beat Haran by three. Makate looked like a takedown. Had seen that match. Um, but like Rope said, if you choose down on these guys, just. Turn around and punch yourself in the throat because it's a terrible idea. Because Nevinger will break your back. Speaking of which, somebody reminded me last night, what happened to Throat Punch Thursday? That's your Talk that's about your falling off the wagon and doing stuff on the regular basis and then it just disappeared. we got to get Throat Punch Thursday back. Just hashtag it on a Thursday. Do something violent throughout the day. Just promoting, that's it. promoting violence. No, not necessarily. I mean, it could be just... Uh, Punch a wall or headbutt something for a while. So make know. yourself tough. <laughs> yeah, you get tougher. Punch <laughs> you just punch yourself for a while. Uh, Kishinium, the Citadel guy, man, he's he's got a little different style to him, um, but it's not. It's to me, it's not as drastic as like Lusendorf, Um But he's got a little bit of different flair to him. Um, had an unbelievable year last year. Hasn't seen top flight competition. Um, the Gardner Webb guy Vasher, who's having a really good redshirt year, beat him up real bad, 11 to two. Um, that's kind of his big marquee win. When I, I shouldn't say marquee win because Vasher's not there yet, but kind of one of his bigger name wins he's had and scored a bunch of points on him. Um, if you haven't felt that style before, it's hard to wrestle, man. For the he's, first time, for sure. He's really good in, in like dominant ties. He's really good over unders, over hooks, all that stuff. He finds creative ways to score. Uh, that you might not have felt before. Stud, man, I, I enjoy watching him wrestle. I'm catching his matches for sure. I always learn something watching that dude wrestle. Chris Makate! I forgot about that. No, I just remembered it. That's awesome. Um, Chris Makate, great shucks, good scrambler, ODU Dude, guy. Outside the time, man. Love watching this guy wrestle, puts points on the board, can close out good guys in matches. He's got some good wins over Small and Spino. Lost to Henderson twice. Took a little bit of a beating from Carter. Um, but I'm telling you, this guy's in the mix. I know I said top five are kind of standing by themselves. Wouldn't be a bit surprised if Makate was top four. You know um, my favorite thing about him wrestling? Martin's in the corner. You are going to get a just, solid coaching effort from just Steve Martin watch every single effort, match. Watch the effort that dude puts into coaching a match. He has to be just physically and mentally and emotionally exhausted after tournaments because he puts our guy every, what he is. It's our guy. He, I, I think he's just a Martin guy, man. <laughs> he 
just puts every bit into it, man. I enjoy watching that guy coach just because of the intensity he brings and how into every match he is. Man. He is, man. He's dialed in. I'll let you talk about Haran. Haran's um, had a lot of success. He's a PA guy, man. Um, he's been doing well since he's been in college, but... He did really well, better than people might thought he did as a freshman, but he seems to hit a wall a little bit. Uh, the guys that are a little bit better than him have been beating him. He lost, like we said earlier, by three to Henderson. Um, he scores a lot of points when he's on top. He beat Bice all up pretty bad. He beat Lake Gardner, but it was in a little bit closer match. Um, I, vanilla wrestler, would you call him? I don't know if I'd really call him. He, he's almost. He's like a vanilla with a cherry on top. But he's Not he's a hundred percent vanilla. He's typical Central Michigan guy. He's solid in every position. Um, he's got really doesn't have a whole lot of weaknesses. But I'm just let, waiting for that marquee win to really bring him into the top six, top seven um, in the country. I think he's hovering around 10, 12, somewhere of that in the rankings. But uh, he starts popping off those guys above him. I'd like to see him and, and uh, Kishinem wrestle. Uh, that'd be a matchup I'd like. I'd be interested to see because Haran's just solid position. Kishin kind of takes care, takes advantage of the guys wrestling in bad position a little bit more. That'd be a match I'd be interested in seeing because I think Haran might be able to win it with his ride. I think um, obviously they pulled Colic as uh, they. Was he, he was in red shirt, right? And they pulled it for the duel. Well, um, people didn't know if they were gonna if he was gonna red shirt or not. It might have been right. a plan all along. He right. wasn't going to, but they just wrestled him unattached. To make things dramatic, they yanked his red shirt for the Oklahoma duel. Um, I heard Coleman Scott took his red shirt. Oh, off literally the ripped, it ripped it off it of him. Half. Yeah, and then ate Hulk, it. Hulk Hogan. And then style. ate it. I don't know. Coleman Scott, that's bad for your digestive system. Dude, I tell you what, I, I just not to get off on a tangent here. I became a gigantic Coleman Scott fan at the scuffle last year because you can't find too many guys you can just sit around and talk international wrestling with. Me and that Joker had a unbelievable conversation for about an hour on different styles, different way guys wrestle, technique stuff. If you love wrestling technique, find Coleman Scott, sit down, and have a conversation with him. His Depth of knowledge is through the roof. <laughs> He's gonna have a line of people just cornering him this weekend. Just come up to me. It's Thursday, Roper. <laughs> Boom! It will be Thursday. There will be a throat punch that had Thursday for the finals, sponsored. Um, but like I was saying, Colic has um he's come out uh kind of had to perform immediately um in that Oklahoma duel. He's uh close with Dardanes, which tells me something. Um. He's battle tested. He can wrestle those Dude, guys that are going to bring kitchen sink and keep it close. Three to five with Dardanes. I would give myself. I go to the trophy store and buy myself a medal. He's another one on my list. Uh, you know what? I, I might. I might post my list under this. The stuff I'm going to watch and guys I want to watch. Do it. I'm at the scuffle. Scared so if to go you're to tuning, church. If you're tuning in to matches, you can do it with me. And if man, I tell you what, I'm like Coleman. If you love talking wrestling and technique. Hit me up on Twitter, dude. I never sleep. I'm like Fretwell now. He gave me his disease. So anytime you want to chat it well, up, Well, let's I'll... be clear about which disease I gave you because I have quite a few. Oh, dude, I just walked right <laughs> into that. That was bad. The oh, disease of not sleeping. Yeah. Other diseases I've kept to myself over the years. Yeah, go on. Come on. And Don't be painting me with that brush. So I, I let people know what I have. Doing research what? here. Edgar Bright. Um, he's got some solid wins. He beat Brown. He beat Bedellion. Um, had an unbelievable match with Lake Gardner. Um, it was I like do that to it was like twenty-seven to ninety-three, something like that. <laughs> you wouldn't can't be a good do match. That. That'd be too many points. You can't do but, that. But uh, if is he Saint is he a Saint Ed's guy? That's what was Spies popping up? in my head. No, 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 no. Uh, Edgar Bright. Oh, Edgar Bright. I don't For some think reason, so. it, it pops into my head. He was a St. Ed's guy. Somebody, somebody tell us. Somebody let me know. Look at Roper165 on Twitter or Facebook or underneath this comment. Just in case anybody was wondering. He's a kind of... You, wow, you should have made I'm kind of a wrestling <laughs> Shut up, dude. JB, help wrestler. me design these. Check these out. Boom. Got the Burroughs signature on them. That makes you a little bit tougher. Yeah, or a little, a little faster. Come on, man. Come Maybe. On. Put this on and just blast Grandma this weekend. Um, I'll tell you a guy that's uh, had some pretty good wins. Uh, he pinned Colica. I don't know if it was a catch or not. I didn't see the match. But um, Le'Veon Mays. Um, I hadn't heard the name. I hadn't even heard his name before, before I started doing this. So it's going to be a guy... Um, I checked out. Abbott didn't really beat him up pretty bad, score wise, look score wise. So I don't know if he struggles on bottom or what it is, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and check that guy out a little bit. Now tell me why you think Spisak's gonna win the weight. Um, I didn't say Spisak was gonna win the weight. I will say I I think um 
Spizak, to me, I, I like watching him wrestle. I, I think, to me, he's one of those guys, he's in every match. I, I got to see the Carter match, and unfortunately for me, I didn't know Carter was hurt at the time. So I'm coming off that match. How did you not know? That Joker kept grabbing his hamstring like somebody I, sniper him. I, yeah, up. I, I caught the end of the match, but I was getting excited in the match. I didn't really like know how hurt he was or what was going on, but I, I know I, I saw him. Thought he had really had Carter on the ropes legitimately. I mean, no disrespect to Spizak, but dude, I'm telling you, man, he's got a 12 to 10 win over Small. And I was gonna say before you threw that Spizak thing in my lap, I like watching Tyler Small wrestle. He's he's a Funky type guy. It's exciting matches to watch. Um, I didn't get to see the Spizak small match, but I'm sure it was bananas. Uh, actually, got to hang out with his dad when I was staying with Zeb up in Ohio a couple months ago. Um, super cool cat. If you get a chance to catch a Tyler small match, do it. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. A little bit of action. He's good on top too, man. He's he's a pretty tough rider. Forty nine. Something cool came, too. We got Apple stuff. Hey, I took my MacBook to the Apple store. They told me I couldn't drop it off without a charger. I hey, left my that, nice charger with them. Looks working. Yeah. I, I, I leave my charger with them. They, they give it back to me with no charger. Then I told them they didn't give me my charger. Then they sent me a charger for, like, some 27-year-old, not even MacBook. They don't even work. And I finally just got my new charger. They took care of you, though. Mm -mm. At least they didn't do Two this. Two months. Too much. Yeah, they like Avis rent a car just like, whoops, we ain't got your car, bro. <laughs> no, Stephanie had to skate them over the car. No. Yeah. Careful. <laughs> you heard that. You, you don't want to see that look you just got. You don't want Apple. To, you don't want to get scathed by Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> scathed. I don't even that's, know if that's a word, but that just well, sounds terrible. 149. Not, what happens when you get scathed? Do you have skin or hair? What or happens when I get scathed? <laughs> I run. That's what I do. I run for the heels. I'm uh, really nice. You she said heels. You heels. said I run for the heels. I, I got a little redneck there. It's in there, man. I can't help it. <laughs> I'm from Morgan County, man. I can't help it. They that. don't know where Morgan County is. And those people that do get it. They're like, heels. All right, I understand. Run for um, the heels. Dardanes, Hudashell, Kendig, Villalonga, Sakaguchi, Seiko, Cottrell, Borgia, Frisk, Frey, Johnson, Rugarello, Taiwan Claxton, and then it keeps moving down from there. This is a super deep weight. I cannot wait to see how this goes out because it is all really even. Um, talk about Dardanes again. Um, twin brother wrestles a lot like him, and he's going to get in and ham fight you. Beat Short 6-5, to five, beat Sakaguchi, Sakaguchi in a close match. And can dig six to two. I'm just gonna quit talking. <laughs> These lights, I'm not in shape. These lights are melting me right now. That's and then you said sack of coochie. <laughs> <laughs> How much does that cost? What? <laughs> two for one, sack of coochie. Oh, <laughs> I'm not gonna recover from oh, that. Oh, good God. Um. I'll let you talk about Dardanes, um, cause I want to talk about my. I'm just gonna skip over how to shell too. About him. <laughs> I'll You're gonna skip it. over how to shell. That's one of my favorite. I'm guys gonna let to you watch. talk about him. I was one of I'm my favorite you talk guys about to watch. Him. He is a d absolute hammer. On All right, top. I'm gonna say this, and he does a lot of the stuff that I'm a big fan of. You watch that guy wrestle, man. I kind, we kind of base our top system a little bit like what everybody has to do off watching the Missouri guys last year at the scuffle, dude. I tell you what, man. And I said it last year in a preview, Missouri is the best team in NCAAs on bottom. They have a plan. That? They've got great technique. They've got a good little system. They're the best team in the country as a team. Now, they've got guys that struggle down there just like everybody else does, but those jokers are good on bottom. Question. If you were on bottom and you saw Sammy Henson standing at the corner of the mat and he told you to get off bottom and he looked at you serious and you knew he was being serious with you, would you? Yes, thank you. You got no choice. You got to go back to Sammy Henson that just told you to do so. If you don't do it, you got to deal with the wrath of Sammy Henson. Dude, I saw him Nobody at Dixie. Wants to do that. I saw him at Dixie Nationals this weekend. His his boys are wrestling out there, and some of the guys are wrestling with him. He is made out of bricks, dude. I shook his hand and limped for an hour. <laughs> yeah, his knee hurt. No <laughs> joke. He shook his hand and his knee started hurting. Yeah, that Joker's made of rocks. All right, so I started out being a Ken Dig hater, and then. I was, life as a garden, Ken dig it, and then he didn't pan out, 
the way I thought it would, so I went back to hating on him. Now, I'm not hating on him. I'm not going to say I won Jordan Burroughs a gold medal. I'm not even going to go so far as to say I won Coleman Scott a bronze medal, because I've coached through previews. Coleman Scott saw the preview, said I told him number five yeah. in the world, got a bronze medal. So I'm not saying I've done any of that. I Let's, said ten. No, I said five. I remember what I said. Um, so I'm not saying any of that. However, I did say something about Kendig last year, and about an hour later when the preview dropped, I saw him put something on Facebook. I'm thinking I had something to do with that. A year later, I call the upset Kendrick Maple. Bam. Kendig's back in the hunt. As much as I've given Josh Stevens crap, Josh Kendig wins the NCAA title. Josh. Wins the scuffle this weekend. He rolls it straight to March. Put it on the board! Yes! I tell you, I've talked about it before. I became a big fan of Ken Dig when he was wrestling the Powerade Finals and literally had his whole face wrapped like a mummy. <laughs> I remember everywhere. that. And that Joker is I got just, those videos somewhere. Oh, we need I to downloaded post it. them all. It's probably on where somewhere online. I'll post that video. Dude, it's awesome. That dude is a warrior, man. Got good skills. He's had success all the way through high school. He's got some good wins. He beat Maple. I mean, come on. Kendrick's one of the best guys at this weight. Beat him 4-3. to three. Solid at all positions. Can ride a guy out when he needs to. Can score a takedown when he needs to. Scrambles well. And can fly. Yeah. And super, super fast. Uh, Speaking of guys been successful at all levels, Chris Villalonga, man. He's Blair guy. Now he's at Cornell doing well. Beat Sakaguchi twice. Beat uh, Paddock. I want to say it was in overtime. Um, dropped Maple. Uh... 6-1 or something like that, but man, he's good in all positions too. He's starting to get the Cornell rides down pretty well, so it's hard to get away from him. Um, he's stingy on his feet. He's not, I, I shouldn't say he wrestled open in high school to where he was really attacking a whole lot. He was just so good when he got yeah, to the Yeah, I was about to say, school. he was just almost that much better yeah. than everybody in high school, technically. Um, so he's going to do well here. He usually wins when he's supposed to. Those guys that are a little bit better than him, he loses too, so he's kind of got a ceiling on him. But uh, I see him wrestling to his seat here pretty well. Um, if he plays fourth, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be a bit surprised. That's where I've got him in kind of my listings, looking at brackets and thinking, thinking about stuff. Now, Sakaguchi, I'm, I'm, I'm a little troubled by it. He's not had the best track record at the scuffle. Dude, I thought um, he was going to win NCAAs this year. Yeah. He, going into the year. I thought he was going to win it. I think it might have been two years ago because they weren't there last year. Two years ago, they he, I don't they think were. they were there last year. I think you've been there every year. I think they skipped a year. It was while. Travis Gerard's fault while they weren't there. That's true. If they, they weren't. <laughs> Anyways, I think a Rouge Al pinned him. He might have been he might have been one of the top seeds. I can't remember what he was was a seeded. Hasn't had the best success at Scuffle. I don't know if it's his time of year or whatever, but he's not been that top, top tier guy that you thought he was gonna be this season. That's not a bag on him. I mean this weight's super deep, but he's lost to Grahalis, which we know is kind of consistent in inconsistence. Close match with Dardanes, but he's lost to Villalonga twice. To me, and, and just watching, um, I think it was Eastern Michigan duels and stuff like that and wrestling, kind of middle-of-the-road guys, he just can't go get those points like he needs to. Kind of one of his big deals. He could, he could almost turn it into a street fight, make it real physical, and really open up and start scoring points. He's not really doing that anymore. Um, I don't know why. I don't know if it's a technical thing, a mental thing, or an injury thing, but it's just not the Sakaguchi that I would expect to see at this point in his career scoring points. I remember when uh, Molinaro won the weight, um, he talked about Sakaguchi was the toughest guy he wrestled all year. I think they wrestled in scuffle, scuffle semis. Um, he said that was, that was one of the toughest guys he wrestled. So ever since then, I've been a big fan of that guy because Frank's as tough as it gets. Um, Seiko, who a few people made an argument that he could have been seated first in this weight. He's undefeated this year. Beat Minotti 3-2. to two, Beat Nybert. Uh, beat Arthur, who's a tough clarion guy. If you had not seen that guy wrestle yet, man, Letters is doing an awesome job with him. Had a lot of success, and he is a tough dude on top. But um, Seiko's man had a lot of success. I know he's a St. Ed's guy. Um, and, uh, dude, he's, he's going to wrestle above his seat here. I, I, he, what, what seat is he? Now I've got my spread six. too wide. Six seed. Six seed. Uh, he can. I could. He definitely can make the finals here. I could, him and Huda Shelt would be a really good match, or How to Shelt, however you say it. Huda um, Shelt. He, I could see him he's making the finals. Six different ways. I'd like to see him and Dardanes wrestle too. So uh, I, I got Seiko doing really well at this tournament. Virginia does a great job with our guys, and talk about another dude that puts an unbelievable amount of intensity into the matches. Garland. Garland gets after. It. I will say this. I've heard good things about Garland. Um, we got a chance. I got a chance to be around him. He came down here and, and did a little clinic for us, 
And we talk about why Penn State's good and why some of these teams are good and talk about these kids having fun and having a great attitude about training, getting to be around Garland for a couple hours that day. And Lean was down here too, but getting to see what the guy at the, at the head of the ship's doing. Gar Garland, like you said, puts a lot of energy into those guys, but it's good positive energy. And I think that's why you continue to see these UVA guys just get better and better and better um, in all areas. So... I always give UVA a love shower. One of but his, one of his biggest concern is putting out good people when they're done. Cause his he's like wrestling ends pretty quick for everybody. And what do you got for the rest of your, their life? And they want guys to be successful because they wrestled for Virginia, which to me is the best recruiting strategy. You is. graduate from Virginia, you're gonna be all right. Yep. Shout out to Clemson, cause if we don't, he's gonna be like, hey man, talk about everybody else, didn't talk about me. And he's got, I'm gonna be looking up at him like this on, at the skull and be like, my bad dog. Here's a free T-shirt. Which, by the way, if you've never been <laughs> to Virginia, go visit. Especially if you're a guy. Scenery's pretty good there. Got to talk about Cody Rugarello. Yeah, go ahead and talk about your... I just You love that whole family. If you have it not, was just listen, Lou. If you have not tuned into the previews, you've got to go back. Watch one of the very first ones we did. I had a little bit Vegas of a man preview. crush on it Lou Rigorello. Oh, it was, man. That dude absolutely loved it. I'm a bar guy. Lou Rigorello ran the craziest bars. I... I like Lou Rugarella. In so facto, I like Lou Rugarella. That's the you second like, preview in a row I've said in so facto. You mean you like Cody? Yeah. No, Lou. And so you like Cody? I like Lou. I don't like Cody. I don't even know that guy. He's his brother. I know, but I don't know him. I knew Lou. Me and Lou are like that. Fine. He didn't know it. I just stand outside his window at night with a hair doll. <laughs> what movie is that from? Hair dolls. What movie is that from? I have. I don't mind. Call me a box. I must not watch the same movies you do. Yeah, I dude. Never get everybody's seen that movie. I never get your movie references. Yeah, hair doll. He made a hair doll out of that girl's hair he was stalking, and he made a doll out of it. That's the hair that she left behind. It's hair doll. Everybody does that. Right? Everybody does that. Everybody does that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I, you guys know me, man. App State guys, I give them love all the time. Dylan Cottrell is, he is one of the most athletic guys in NCAA wrestling. He's fun to watch. Yeah, man. Fun to work out with. I worked out with him a little bit this summer. He is so explosive. Um, having a great year. His only losses to Zertz's at Keystone Classic and got beat up kind of bad there, but he's young, man, so he's going to steadily make improvements. Beat Rashiato. Those might be the – I wish I could have seen that match. Those two guys are so athletic. I'd love Just to see them. Just bananas. 7-6. Beat, beat up Castle pretty good. Uh, Cal Poly guy that's pretty tough, 7-0. So um, definitely tune in, watch a Cottrell match. You will not be disappointed. Um, trying to think, is there anybody else I want to talk about here? Taiwan Claxton, um, I gotta give Ohio guys some love too, man. I really, I really like what those guys do out there. Um, he's got a crazy overtime match with uh, Cottrell, they ended up losing. Wrestled Hunter Steber pretty well at the beginning of the year. Um, he's got wins over Paddock, Johnson, and kind of what put him on the mat where I started watching is he beat How to Shelt five to three. So you know, Cottrell's had a lot of overtime matches this year. Yeah, all his match, <laughs> his match with uh, I think it was Virginia was nuts, man. Uh, tuned in live broadcast on that one. His that was a crazy match. Um, who did he wrestle from Virginia? God, I cannot remember off the top of my head now. I'll think of it in a minute. Seiko? No, 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 no. I'll think of it in a minute. All right. But that was a crazy match. Fun to watch. Won it right at the end. Go behind, I think, if I remember right. But catch Taiwan Claxton. Definitely on the upswing. Those Ohio guys do a great job preparing their guys. He's tough. All right, we're going to go 157, and we're going to chop it, because this has probably already been an hour and a half. Then we're going to do the second half. Um, Darren, really, the real reason is I haven't finished the spreadsheet yet. <laughs> um, Derringer, Ness, Bradley, Real Buto, Pena, Miller, Taffer, Warner, Volrath, Gannat, Bethia, Hudson, Languis. Gannat. God dog, these Ohio State guys keep trying to enter the scuffle. Gannat. Gannat. That's it. G-A-N-T-T. -T. Gannat. Gant. All right. Or Gant. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Um, Those I'm, two T's. You mind if I talk about Derringer? Talk about Derringer. Quickly climbing out. the ladder is one of my favorite guys, man. Uh, especially talking with Perry this summer about how hard that dude works and how much he loves the sport. Um, he'll win NCAA title this year. I wouldn't be one bit surprised. Watching him wrestle, he's got to be one of the strongest dudes at this weight class. It just looks like he hurts, like he grabs you, and it's just one of those guys where you're just like, oh, no, this match is going to be tough because his hands hurt real bad. 
Beat up DeAngelis pretty good. He's got a win over Ness, four to two. Um, like I said, I think I think St. John and him might be separating themselves from the field a little bit. Um, I hope we get a Derringer Ness rematch because Ness always makes things interesting and fun. Two but, to four. Uh, I don't. I I I don't want to see that. I want to see. I want to see twenty two to fourteen. So some of the top end guys from Oklahoma State are graduating after this year. I think he's the next guy that steps in, and he's like the marquee name as a cowboy uh, moving into the future. Three-time NCAA champs, not out in the realm of possibility. No, and now I'm going to talk about Dylan Ness, who is up a weight from last year. Uh, NCAA finalist two years ago, a little banged up last year, going up a weight. He's like 12 foot tall. Not your prototypical fundamental wrestler. Um, it's to say the least. Yeah, uh, lacks, lacks things like a sprawl and uh, sometimes head position, but... Uh, the, 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 <laughs> uh, I get I love getting to hang out with him during the summer when I get to go uh, do Calvary Chapel camp and he's down there um, helping out. Um, but uh, I'll tell you, man, it, not only is this guy fun to hang out with off the mat, he just enjoys life. He's got a great sense of humor about it. But he he takes that same approach to life in a wrestling match. He just kind of lets it hang out there. He doesn't get super stressed out about winning it or keeping it tight or anything. He's going to do some stupid stuff during the match and make you want to pull your hair out. But to me, that's what makes it fun to watch, man. He can create from anywhere. Just like Taylor Walsh, chin whipping from the bottom last night, St. John. He's that type of guy. Elevators, whoever just all kind of crazy. Whoever is in, oh, we're going to see it. They're, they'll duel each other. I cannot wait for Minnesota-Indiana duel where him and Taylor Walsh wrestle each other. It's going to be fun. They Somebody's just, getting pinned. That's what I was going to say. They just need to agree at the beginning of the match. No ref, no score. We're no, just going to wrestle until somebody gets pinned. It might be 10 seconds in. It might be an hour. Congo death match. Yeah. Talk about a great, great idea, a great idea for these, a great idea for these professional the professional wrestling. I know that sounds bad, but you know what I mean now. That's a great premise. We're going to wrestle until somebody gets pinned. Yeah, I could see it, but you saw a little bit then of the it, tour ACW stuff. The matches kind of started getting a little, nah, nobody wanted to take a chance. In a Taylor Walsh, Dylan Ness match, there will not be a shortage of chances taken <laughs> at all. Just, when those two guys graduate, let's put them in a, as somebody, you wrestle sure. until somebody gets pinned. Oh, match. sure. I'll pay 15 bucks. Absolutely. I'll pay more than that to watch it, man. That'd be great. <laughs> we'll talk about Bradley. I was going to talk about Rebuto. All right. Um, I was looking at this. I'm pretty sure R.J. Pena has been in college. I might have drafted him on my fantasy team in 2006. Dude, he's good on top. I've started watching him wrestle a little bit more this year. He's good on top. Um, Bradley, again, another one of those solid Missouri wrestlers. He's got a win over Chino, 4-3. Would you say um, he's always kind of under the radar, too, but always does really well. He is. I mean, for the most part, I mean, yeah, I don't want to say for the most part a lot of Missouri guys do, but they've had those guys over the years, that, especially in their upper weights that have been out there placing at these top-tier tournaments, round a place in NCAAs and things like that, not really became household names. Um, and I don't think it's because Missouri don't market their guys or market their program. I just think it's they just those type job. of guys. Style, just, man. They got a good little hashtag. Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. I'm not saying they don't. That's what I'm saying. And, and I don't know necessarily why some of these guys that have had a ton of success really didn't become household names, but you're right. Those guys have continued to put out knocking on the door of top-tier guys that just haven't been household names. But thinking Bradley's about, definitely one of them. Thinking about Missouri, this is a great idea. Somebody needs to do it. If we got any like filmmakers out there that need a project to do, somebody needs to go and do like Missouri and Cornell are the two best examples of where those programs were and what they've grown into as a model for what programs need to, need to do. Because, man, like 10, 15 years ago, Missouri was – at the bottom of Bam. yeah, they they weren't very tough, and then Smith got in there and really built this up into a monster and does a great they job. They were calling recruiting me, and I just hung up on them. <laughs> I just can't take that seriously. I just can't do it. Um, oh man, that now was they've good. got unbelievable facilities. They're one of the teams that makes money off their dual meets, or at least somebody told me that stat wise. Uh, they got great crowds and really not a traditional wrestling powerhouse state. So, man, I, I would really, that'd be a cool documentary to see if somebody did something For on show. Uh, where these programs started and how they grew up, or even just an interview series. Zeb Miller's the perfect guy to do it. Um, best interviewer on the planet, wrestling-wise, in my opinion. Zeb, you got to find Zeb's going to be there. And talk about.
about. Sam's going to be this, at the this would have to be. This was like a Martin when Martin sat down with John Smith and just did those series of interviews. Oh, but yeah. Still is one of my favorite things. I was just giving flow. you a tidbit that Zeb was going to um, be there. Speaking of Zeb, can I talk about Ian Miller? Or do you want to talk about him? Oh, you can talk about Ian. I'm going to talk about Real Buto real quick. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's one of those Cornell freshmen. Cor uh, man, Cornell's known for like getting those freshmen. Walrus. Those freshmen to jump in and be really successful. Yeah, that dude is funky. He finds a way to scramble out of positions where you think he's buried. He's beat Gant. He's beat DeAngelis up. Major decision. Uh, pin. No, it was, it was overtime with Blaze, uh, which that Blaze Butler's can just man, come on, dude. Come on. <laughs> I'm getting you right, man. You gotta get more focus. You let me break your concentration <laughs> with the walrus teeth. <laughs> He's fun to watch. Check out a Rebuto match. He's a New York boy. Uh, fun to watch in high school too. He's got some. He's got some funky stuff he likes to do and can scramble out of some crazy positions. He makes it entertaining. I, and this is a crazy comparison to make, and I know it. But when I watch him, he's like a Kyle Desk esque, Kyle, Kyle Desk, Kyle Dake esque type wrestler. He just kind of got that little bit of balance and. Finds a way to win matches, and and I know Kyle's one of the arguably the best NCAA wrestler of all time. Um, You're so just talking about ability wise. You're not just talking similar, about just similar wise. styles, right? Style, skill set. See a little bit of it. Sure. He reminds me of Dake a little bit when I watch him wrestle. Um, Ian Miller, another guy in this weight class you want to catch. Probably catch. I mean, catch every one of his matches as you can. Something crazy is going to happen. Whether he spikes somebody on his head, or inside trips somebody to their back, or gets in a crazy scramble, or or a fist fight, or something wild will happen in an Ian Miller match. Um, just because that's the way he wrestles. He is just wide open, scoring points, going to create. He's one of those guys that if he needs to create something, he will. Um, you won't see him shut down with a lead. Um, but uh, I'll tell you this, man, it's been fun watching that kid grow up and, 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 and watching him wrestle from high school to now. And uh, I will be Matt side at every Ian Miller match I can catch at the scuffle. Got some, uh, went over Jordan and Warner, dropped one to Butler. Um, I could see Ian Miller being top four here with it and not be surprised at all. No, I'd agree with you there. He could place a little bit higher in the seat and I wouldn't be Chase surprised. Some coffee. Um, then you got Tarfer. Taffer, excuse me, from Boston. Um, he's got some good wins. He beat Volrath twice. Volrath's a tough dude, so if you can knock him off twice, um, he's got a lot of skill. Uh, Warner, who's an absolute hammer on top, man. He's got that far headlock. I can't stand that, man. I think it needs to be stalemate, and then it's stalling after that. Um, I don't like the ride. There's some guys that are really good at turning with it, like Monk. He's pretty good at turning with that ride, but he rides his a little bit different, man. Um, I was watching him in the Midlands Finals Stop last night. Side a little I got bit, some things I'm going to play with. Uh, that he was doing. I'm a, I like leg stuff. I'm a leg rider, so it might help me as I get older actually stay on top of some people. Um, then you got Volrath underneath him, who's just as solid as it gets. I've talked about him having all American potential um, in the Penn State lineup. Tommy Gant really came on the scene like Fila Juniors. No, it was I think it was U.S. Open. Did really well there. Placed third or fourth. Struggled this year, man. He's lost to Warner, Brunson, Robuto, and Pena. Um, doesn't really have any marquee wins, but I think he's going to have one after the scuffle. I think he's going to do real well. He's really talented. Um, and get used to us talking about in, uh, NC State guys. They are on the up. Papalizio. One of the smartest. Kelly. One of the smartest Beasley. guys. Beasley. I've talked to um, as a coach. They came down. Uh, one of our guys. Down twice. Yeah, one of our guys. Yeah, I was out of town the second. Let's not talk about the golf cart they got that we didn't get though. Charles Pike. Charles Pike. I got a bone to pick with you this week, buddy. We got two of our guys that are going to end up wrestling there. One's theirs now. Um, real close with those boys. So they came down, got to talk with them. Smart dude. Jamil Kelly's one of the tech best techni technicians I've been around. Um, learned a lot, bunch of stuff from those guys. Silver they're, medalists. They're going to be good. Above average. Silver they're medalists. Be good. Um, got to give some love to Alex Hudson. Might not want to choose down on him either. He Monster. Hard. Oh, yeah. Hard, hard. I remember grabbing him at Arturo's one day, just high school, when he was in high school practice, and dude was wrestling me like it was a world finals, and I had to put my big boy pants on. Um, dude, you're going to get a hard 15 minutes out of him every match if, if, if he needs it. Hammer on top will rip your arms off. The knock on him has been staying healthy. Looks like he's pretty healthy this year. He's gotten a couple decent um, wins already this season, so he'll be in the mix. He's always in the mix. Whew. That's it for the first one. That's it for part one. Take a breath. Part two's coming back. Got to reload. Go do some 
Spread God, some might magic. actually have to try to make yeah, some no. money at some point. You're trapped I'm in trapped. over there. Can't I'm going to reach up. I got to go air out. These lights are killing me. 